Good a good a morning? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Aussie, where are you going today? Where are you going today? <laughs> I'm not going to film you dancing in your underwear up there. Um, Emma's very excited. Uh, all her children are in full-time education. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, but I mean, you know, this year all your kids are in full-time education. Are you looking forward to going to school, Oz? No. Yes, you are. You've been nagging to go. No. You're going to see your friends? No. No. You got a smart new school shoes. I got a smart drone. You got a smart drone. Show the camera your drone then, but let's not sit on your truck because otherwise that will break. I want to show turn on. Okay. Why is some of it red and some of it blue? Yeah. Is that just how it is? Or does it need charging? Too blue, too red. Too blue, too red. It needs charging, does it? No one hear this noise. Okay. Boop. Boop. Where Daddy? Uh, coming. Coming. I think I just heard Daddy's truck. Well, as Ozzy said, good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It's going to feel very odd. We've still got Harry at home. Sky's at her boyfriend's, um, but they're both going back to school tomorrow. So Emma's going to take Ozzy, no, Harry out this morning to go and have his hair cut. And Ozzy is just going off to school with Rob and Emma now. Um, I'm going to do housework. I didn't do really anything last week when it came to housework here. Just did a general tidy up down here. So it definitely needs a good clean. And then if I've got time, I'm going to pop over the yard and do a few jobs over there because I've really missed just pottering around in the week uh, doing bits. Um, it's very busy out there today. It's muck spreading going on. Um, and for those of you who've watched Clarkson's Farm, we've got Caleb Cooper and his crew in picking up muck from the site and they are muck spreading um, with Rob today. So that's quite exciting if you watch Clarkson's Farm. Um, yeah. Anyway, my life is going to be slightly less exciting, but enjoyable because we all know I like housework. But I'm going to go and make a start on this house. I think I'll start in the kitchen because there's a lot of stuff everywhere. And um, and then work my way through the downstairs and then work my way upstairs. I am currently looking for aphids in the garden. I don't feel like I've got an awful lot done today. Um, I have been doing stuff and I've been quite thorough about the cleaning um, but Emma's been in and out so there's been various conversations which does disturb my flow I have to say um, and now I'm out here looking for aphids because we've got Ozzy some um, butterfly larvae and they need aphids. Can I find any aphids? No. No I cannot. Why can you not find a pest when you need one? And other days they will just be decimating all your plants. But I'm having no luck, so I'm not sure what else I can possibly feed them. I don't even think I've seen any in my garden. They're usually on tomato plants, they're not on the tomato plants. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what to do about that. I might have to do some Googling and see if they'll eat anything else. Because we don't want them dying, we want them to live and thrive. Anyway, I need to crack on with some jobs, otherwise it's just not going to get done, is it? Um, and then we've got sheep washing to do in about an hour and a half time. Um, especially with it being this hot, we want them to, you know, cool off a little bit. And we're waiting for, for them to have their second shear. Oh, I'm covered in spiders' webs. Right, let's see if I can find any over here. I found some bugs on the tomatoes. I'm putting them in because it's the best I can come up with and hopefully that'll be enough. Let's go sort out some laundry and get some laundry on. Oops, let's bring this with us. Okie dokie, let's get that load on and then we've got another couple of loads to go on as well. There we go, one pretty clean dining room kitchen area, floor's been done. I'm going to go into the bathroom now because the bathroom is a pigsty. The cat litter's been turfed everywhere by cats and probably the dogs. Sky's clothes are on the floor, there are toys in the bath, just a lot that needs to be done. So 
I'm going to do this room next. There we go. A sparkling bathroom. Moved out that unit, cleaned all behind it. We're removing the cat litter tray. Everything's had a good bleach. Now to deal with removing rubbish, moving this cat stuff. I do need the bowls need to go in there, but I'll give all of that a good wash. This guy's top needs to go in the wash. Rubbish out to the bin. It's the right day, isn't it, Lisa, to be doing um, bath time? Yeah, it weirdly feels nice. It does. It's very therapeutic. Until you get under the bum bit, and that's a little bit like... Well, you get a lot of muck off. Whoa! <laughs> Thanks, mate. So Ziggy's getting bath treatment since Ziggy's been having a bit of a rough week. It means that we can just check all his feet and everything as well. Sorry, Ziggy. You'll be lovely after this. And we are trying to get hold of the shepherd to do some shearing. But uh, for now, on a hot day, you're grumbling and burping. For a hot day, we will just get him as clean as possible. And then you can go and dry off in the sun, can't you? I might have to add some water to that. Emma has now joined us. After taking Harry for a haircut, she's now on sheep haircuts. Ziggy is, I imagine he feels a hundred times better. Not that he would admit it right now. But see the amount of muck that's come off him, the amount of brambles we've removed from underneath his underbelly. I think he's going to feel a lot better and he'll definitely feel cooler. So Lisa's just retrieved Nelly from the field and we'll make a start on Nelly. Yeah, the wool will be cleaner, won't it? Yeah, we try to find a spinner that can spin this for us into yarn. So anyone in the Oxfordshire area who knows people who could turn this into yarn and how's his nose looking now we've yeah. washed it? Oh, he's definitely he's caught it, he's caught it on he? something, hasn't he? But it doesn't look infected or anything. No. Good. It is, yeah, he's rubbed it against something. I cut a, a manky bit that was, um, I didn't think it was a black bit to be honest, but I did cut a bit that was okay. absolutely... You always tell when you've had this as a it, Honestly, it was only a little bit. It was so, it had got all of this like... You don't blend. No, I wasn't. I was just chopping it off, actually. That It was here I did it actually, just there. <laughs> it's alright. Oh, It'd be fine. Do we need to do any more, do you think? Look, you've taken your son and given him a mullet, so you have no leg to stand on. I know, look, it's a young farmer, it's played with, um, ball, oh well. It's, it's the way they form, isn't look. It? Yeah, so I feel that, I mean, it isn't a full-blown mullet, it's not long enough yet, oh, but yeah. it's in the you, Hopefully it'll change his mind before we get there. Uh, I'm actually slightly intrigued. Oh no, did it fall over? Yeah, knocked oh. over the horn. Oh no! Oh well, we'll have a bubble bath. Okay. Yeah, half of it on the floor, yeah. thank you for that. Well, she's clearly protesting, so we've even started. Yep. Right, should we tie you up then, miss? Do we stop him? No. I th yes, I think he's fine. No, I think... Him no, him. let him go wander. He's half the size of his sister. <laughs> look at that. He's a drowned rat, quite literally. He is, but doesn't he look gorgeous? Yeah. He does. But we have a rainstorm or something, and then yeah. we'll have frothy sheep out yeah, there. Yeah, we than. will. Because they smell delightful, but they don't smell like Ziggy anymore. No, he doesn't smell like Ziggy anymore. Go on then. We'll tie your sister up now. There you go, lovely. Took her ages to move. I think the, she thought she couldn't. nicely. Yeah, she's having a good old drip there. We've got two clean sheep who must be nice and cool now. I've even got them under the armpits with the cool water. You might want to, I was going to say, you might want to shut the gate before you let one in. Otherwise you'll have the whole hand stampede come through. You're right there. Showing off your lovely physique. Maybe <laughs> long if you want it pasty again. You make the most of it while the sun's out. Yeah, Lisa's gone to choose another sheep. We've got time to do one more before we have to go do school runs and it, stuff. It was the look when she had the three there, and she, you can see she's like... Which one is, which one am I picking up? Well, I've told her now, she can't get it wrong unless she comes back with a goat, in yeah. which case I'll send her back and say, try again. <laughs> she can choose, I think she's going for autumn or Maggie, who's she got there? Autumn, is it? One of those two is probably the best option. Lisa, Hello. well done, you came back with the sheep. <laughs> You oh, come back with um time. with an autumn. She's usually pretty good. Autumn, is it bath time? She's not. She's the princess. Well, yeah, but she Maggie's likes a pamper. Yeah, but Maggie's a little bit 
Actually, we should have done our feet while we were at it. We should have done. Uh, yeah, oh well. Got injuries on both legs now. What has this done? The difference between a freshly bathed sheep and not freshly bathed sheep. We've got three sheep there that haven't been bathed. We've got one over there that has been bathed. Autumn is rocking the new shiny look. She was a complete diva about the entire thing. Well, Saul's got to be a diva. She took one for the team. She did take one for the team, didn't she? Clean little sheepy bums. Ziggy, Nelly. No, food's involved. Ziggy, Nelly! <laughs> Gonna fight over the food ball instead. Emma's been on a first day back at school cake run. Oh my goodness, look at that. I don't want that. At Black Goo. Banana cake, I don't do banana cake. Oh, that's, I think that's the gluten free one, I think. I'm not sure, looks very nice. Oh, they look amazing. Mm -mm. Is that we're uh we're Aussie's back from school, aren't you, Oz? Yeah. Um we're gonna go and do the chickens because it's very hot. The duck's gonna need some fresh water. Are you gonna show me what's going on under the ants thing? Yeah. Go on then. What's going on with the ants? Whoa! Look at them! There's so many! They're bigger now. They are getting bigger and bigger, look, they're making a bigger nest. No big. The eggs are now big. They are. You've got an awesome ants nest going on there. Great ants in there. Oh my goodness, there are so many ants in there. And they're going under her. They're going under here, moving the cover. Yeah. They're moving the eggs under her. They are moving the eggs. That's because they think that we're going to take them away. Yeah. I'm going to put them away. Should we close it up again? Yeah. There you go. Oop, stay safe, ants. There we go. You like sleep here. One ant coming out. One ant. Right. Time to do chicky water. And there's one of our chickies. That one there is the one we call Shiza. <laughs> Emma named that one. Um, where is... Nugget is so big now that I actually get confused. That's Nugget down there. Nugget is looking very big. Proper fully grown. Nugget was the first one that hatched. And then through there is yoghurt, new yoghurt, as Ozzy called it, new yoghurt with mama chick. Right, let's get these waters done. Let's get a fresh thing of water in for the ducks. Lots of clean water. And oh, Harry's just thrown chips out, so they're all fighting over chips. And fresh water for the ducks. And then the old water they use for dabbling in, which they really like. Got some rain. A bit of rain. They don't seem to mind the rain. <laughs> there you go. Have a nice dabble. The girls are helping me with a very important job this evening. Kenzie's also helping me with a very important job. He's setting up the camera for this end of the house for when I have to pop out to work and can't always take the dogs with me. I'm going to have a secure garden, padlock it and give them a bit of free reign from conservatory into garden. Because Link gets so stressed in his cage, it's just not fair to put him in his cage. He hates it. Here they've got a way to roam around. They do have a bit to roam around, yeah. They've got everything they need and I can come back and check on them, but I can also check on them. I can also check on you guys, can't I? Evening hangout with my girls. With my girls. Good girl. 
nails. That's my finger. We have to do beak, beak bonding, don't we? You prefer beak to beak than me stroking you. Girls, I've got a lot of things I need to be doing. I'm afraid. I've got to go and finish painting the bathroom and I need a shower. I know. I know. It is a bit early for bed, but... If I leave you out here, will you eat my flowers? Or can I trust you to just eat that stuff for a bit?